boy named Daniel. Daniel lived on a mountain with many men, led by a man named Rosh. The purpose of all these men's lives was to destroy the Romans. One day, Daniel saw a boy and a girl that he recognized from the village he had lived in. He felt compelled to go with them. They conversed for some time. Daniel learned that their names were Joel and Malthais. Joel learned that Daniel had come to the mountain because of a cruel blacksmith he had been working for. Joel also learned that Daniel worked for Rosh, and Joel looked up to Rosh, so he wanted to go and see him. So Daniel decided to bring Joel to Rosh. When Joel was there, Rosh and his men released a black slave from a caravan of merchants to become one of them. The former slave was named Samson, and he immediately attached him to Daniel. Then one day, Daniel's friend Simon, the zealot, tells Daniel about a man named Jesus, who was very wise, and who Simon believed that was their savior. Daniel was excited by Simon's words and went to see Jesus, but was disappointed because Jesus seemed like a peaceful man and was not seeking for revenge from the Romans. Life went on. One day, Daniel got a letter from Simon saying that his grandmother was dying. Daniel knew he could no longer live on the mountain, so he said goodbye and went to the village. After his grandmother died, Daniel knew he had to stay in the village because of his sister Leah, who was supposedly possessed by demons, and she would not let anyone except Daniel see her. Simon offered Daniel his house, saying, I want to go follow Jesus, but I can't be happy unless I know that someone is running the blacksmith shop. So Daniel and Leah moved to the blacksmith shop. Leah became more and more like a real girl. And she even let Malface talk to her and see her. Meanwhile, Daniel still hated the Romans as much as ever and was infuriated when one particular Roman kept coming to his shop. As time passed, Daniel gathered many young men together to form his own little army against the Romans. Even through all that was happening, Daniel had started to go and listen to Jesus daily, and he started to appreciate what Jesus said. Then, one terrible day, Joel was captured by the Romans. Daniel and his troop of boys went to seek help from Rosh, but when he asks Rosh, he says no. Immediately, Daniel gets angry and announces that he knows that he can't work for Rosh anymore. So he and his troop go to attack the Romans. After fighting for a while, they start to lose. When a black body starts to hurl rocks and boulders at the Romans, it is Samson. They lose Samson, but they get Joel back. After the incident of the Romans, Joel could not go to see Daniel or Jesus. But one day, Joel crept over and told Daniel that Malthais would be having a dance that she wanted Daniel to watch. Daniel goes and watches Malthais' dance. When he comes back from the dance, Leah has a surprise for him. It is a basket of fruits. Daniel questions about who gave it to her and learns that it was a Roman soldier that she had been talking to whenever he had gone away. Daniel was so mad at her that he yelled at her and she fell ill. Daniel confronted the soldier and learned that the Roman was going away the next day. Soon after Daniel came back, Joel, Malthais, and Jesus came through the door. Jesus knelt down near Leah's head and prayed over her. Leah was healed. Sudden realization. Daniel saw that he should have not made Bell a patron. He longed to follow Jesus, but he needed to do one thing first. When Daniel reached the Roman soldier, he said, My sister has recovered from her illness. I believe she wants to say goodbye to you. 